，你能想象人去世后在四十天内变成泥土，被亲友拿去种树吗？在美国，出现了全球第一家把遗体分解成土壤肥料的殡仪馆。年轻人死于癌症，父母用他的土壤在后院种树，可以随时拜访；子女用母亲的土壤种出小树林。这家殡仪馆至今已经把二百二十五位死者变成了泥土。I started thinking about the funeral industry in the United States when I was in grad school for architecture. There's environmental tolls for both cremation and burial, so I started investigating what other options. And my thesis project was a space for the urban dead. The savings for composting is over a metric ton of carbon per person. Recompose is to create a sustainable funeral option. We host a ceremony. We usually lay wood chips and straw, and then people can add flowers.、Uh, sometimes people will add pages from books that we want to be composted with the person. The staff often plays music that the client loved. We place the person's body into the threshold vessel, and then close the door. That's the ritual to say goodbye. 变成土壤的过程需要一个多月。人体和环境中的微生物有不可思议的力量，会慢慢分解遗体。整个过程自然产生热量，容器内部的温度变得非常高，从而破坏有害的病原体。每个人大约能转化成零点八立方米的土。在土壤形成后，工作人员会测试土壤中的病原体，确保它能安全用于种植。We have composted over 225 people so far. Many of them are environmentalists or gardeners. Wayne lived in Seattle and he loved to garden with his neighbors. After he was transformed into soil, his neighbors got some of his soil and brought it back to their gardens. I like to think of Wayne spending time with his neighbors after he's died. I think my favorite way is a person's mother died, and they used her soil to grow a whole field of trees, something like 25 trees, and that became the memorialization. 除了带回家，有一半的家庭会选择把土壤捐赠给被破坏过的森林。比如生前热爱骑行的马修，死于车祸的机械工程师丹尼斯，移民美国的亚裔女孩。健康的土壤能帮助生态系统重建，它们也将变成森林的一部分。在美国，人体堆肥原本是不合法的，在 Katrina 和同事的推动下，目前它在美国六个州已经合法，也有其他州正在考虑中。We are based in Seattle now. It's actually quite common to fly a body from one place to another. So, about 30% of our clients come to us from out of state. My parents really love the idea because they love gardening, and they also were both in medicine. They talked about how patients would sometimes die, and so I was familiar with mortality at a young age. They gave me the foundation to do the work. Many times, it's a, a comfort to them to finally receive the soil, even though the grief is still there, and and you'll miss your person. To know that that their body has gone on to create new life through the soil. <laughs> 